Hello, my lovely humans. It is midnight on a Tuesday. Well, technically now it would be Wednesday morning. Um, because of my crazy schedule, my late nights are filled with planning classes and um, choreographing and shooting my content videos. So it is midnight. So happy Wednesday to you. Um, it's been a crazy few days. I had my first full week of dance classes at Flint School of Performing Arts, which went really, really well. I'm loving my classes, I'm loving my students. There's been a little bit of some shifts going on with faculty, so I'm picking up extra classes and giving up others. So, you know, it's beginning of the year, hectic stuff that happens when you work at a performing arts school. Um, my body's adjusting to the schedule change. Um, most days I work from around 2.30 to 9 p.m., give or take a few hours in there. Um, Saturdays is mornings and afternoons. We had our first Nutcracker parents meeting and student registration on Saturday, which was super exciting. We had a wonderful turnout, so we're really excited to start setting choreography and start um, rehearsals for that. So stay tuned, there will be a lot more to come on when the performances are, our Nutcracker tea that FIM puts on, and all of that fun stuff that goes on with our Nutcracker season. But I am tired, I cannot lie. Um, getting adjusted to a new job and understanding the layout of the way that things work is a kind of exhausting to say the least. I'm not complaining though because this is the first time in my life where I am finally able to enjoy what I do. I get to do what I'm passionate about. I get to do what I love and it's making me money. Before I had to split my time between what I love to do and then you know something that would sustain me financially. And I'm finally in a position where I get to sit back, relax and enjoy the career that I have worked so hard to create for myself. So I'm so thankful and I'm excited and it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful year. So we are going to jump right in to today's video, which is called What's in My Dance Bag. Now, it has been a few years since I have been in college and since I have been dancing full time as a student, but I went through my college dance bag and kind of got some stuff that I had with me. So I'm gonna kind of take you on a bag tour. So my dance bag is pretty generic. It was an Adidas backpack. Um, it was the easiest thing that I could find that I could carry to and from campus and my apartment with me when I was studying at Wright State. When I was in high school, it was a Nike duffel bag, but I wasn't lugging it across campus. Um, so, I also would pack for the entire day because our dance classes would start at 9 a.m. and go until, you know, evening rehearsal. So I would have to make sure that I was set for the whole day. So this was my dance bag. It's very spacious. It has a lot of room in there. So I emptied it out so I could show you what was in it, but it has nice padding on the back, some straps, and of course, Adidas um, is the brand. Neutral in color, gray, black, and orange. So that was my dance bag. The first thing that I have in my dance bag, of course, are my, well, actually, let's start with this. So you're gonna recognize this. This is the notebook that I showed you, um, not yesterday. <laughs> this is the notebook that I showed you in last week's video that has all of my choreography, my notes, my corrections, all that fun stuff. So this goes in my dance bag. The next thing that happens, are my lovely Capizio booties that I used to wear over, ooh, we have a little bit of a string. I used to wear over um, my point shoes, my ballet shoes, especially in the morning, I would tuck my pants and leggings and tights into these bad boys and I would probably do plies in these. Um, they keep your feet nice and warm. They're kind of, I call them moon boots. I feel like an astronaut when I wear them, but they are Capizio and I got the gray ones because they seem to go with everything. So those are in my dance bag. The other thing that I have, would be, um, I always had biker shorts, which are the long black shorts that I would wear for modern class and occasionally ballet class when I didn't want to wear my tights. Um, those are the longer ones. And then I did have um, my shorter ones. These ones were cool. They're Capizio. They have the mesh on the side. And I would wear those for master classes, for contemporary class, um, for modern, for jazz, anything that I felt that I needed to wear them for. So here are those. 
I would have, um, I would always have an extra leotard. So this one is my black one that I would have. This is Ashley Bowder's um, leotard brand. Um, I think this is a size medium. That's usually what I wore in college, but it's really pretty. It has a lovely um, lace back that is very flattering in the cap sleeves. So Ashley Bowder was one of my favorite dancers growing up. So of course I had to buy her leotard. So that's my Ashley Bowder leotard. And then I always had a colored one just in case. So I believe this one is from Audition Dancewear. And it's just three quarter length sleeve, lace, blue, my favorite color, clearly. Um, and it had an open back, which I loved, open low back. And one of my best friends and I had the same leotard, um, Jillian Kreckel, shout out to her, she's awesome. And we would twin a lot in our college dance classes. And then I think we wore these for a performance a long time ago. So the other thing I would carry with me, I always had a scarf, um, some kind of infinity scarf. I would wear this even during, um, like the warmer months just because it would keep my neck and my back warm. So I would always have a scarf with me um, to kind of just keep in my bag. The other thing that I would have is some tanks. So this is my Eisenhower Dance Detroit tank top that I would keep in my bag for rehearsals um, from my time that I trained with them. And then I have my lovely Nicolet World t-shirt that I would also keep for rehearsals. I always wanted to make sure that I had plenty of clothes just because I always had um, late rep rehearsals for contemporary or for ballet. So I had to make sure that I was prepared. And then I had, of course, some kind of a sport zip up jacket that says it's my Lasuti jacket from 2018. Um, Lasuti stands for Bright State University Dance Ensemble. And then this was the year that we got our names engraved. So of course this one says Retzloff. <sighs> And then I have my lovely Adidas pants that I would wear almost every single day to class without fail. Um, I would tuck them into my booties and warm up with them. I would wear them probably all the way until tendus. I would unzip the bottom and roll them up if my legs were getting kind of warm. Um, I love them. They stretch. They don't fray a lot when you wash them. So highly recommend Adidas pants. Okay, side two. Ankle weights. So when I was studying specifically at Ray State, I would strap these bad boys on and take my bar and ankle weights um, for strengthening, for conditioning my legs, for um, stamina building. And then I would take them off during center work and my legs would feel like three times lighter because of the extra weight. I think these are five pounds each. So I used to carry those in my bag occasionally. I was notorious for wearing several pairs of socks, especially throughout a day. So I always buy men's socks. They're more durable. I have big feet, so I tend to, to like the way that the men's fit better than the women's, and they're a little bit thicker. Um, so these are just Reebok, Reebok socks. So I have gray ones, and then I have the black ones, and they're crew socks. So they come up to like mid-calf. Um, so I had two pairs of cotton socks that I would take for rehearsals. And then I had my fun socks. These I think I got from toe to toe and they're just fun dance socks that are made for the dance floor. They're textured and fuzzy and I would take bar in them sometimes on the winter months. Um, and so I had a few pairs of fun socks as well. The second thing that I was notorious for having aside from like my dance shoes would probably be my lovely massage gun. Um, for those of you who do not have one of these, I highly, highly recommend. I used to carry so many like, like rolling out tools for my muscles that I would have to do in the morning until I got this thing. Um, it's a massage gun. It comes with different attachments that you can put in, um, depending on what you're doing. The flat one was ten tended to be one of my favorites. Um, you flip it on on the bottom, the green light goes on. And then there's a circle right here and it kind of shows you um, what speed. So it's level one, this is level two, and then I will be level three. And then you hit it again to shut it off. Um, this changed my life. I would go early to college and work on our Pilates reformers to get my body warmed up. But then I would use this to wake up like my bigger muscles, like my thighs. My friends would all borrow it. We would do each other's backs. 
um, our shoulders, our necks, everything that would hurt. So I highly recommend investing into some kind of a Theragun, massage gun, Hypervolt, whatever one works for you. My mom got a really good discount on this for Black Friday, so heads up on that. We're getting there. We're getting there. I would tend to have two pairs of tights. Um, the Capizio pink ones is what I tended to wear a lot when I was training. Um, I would always get the large, extra large, even though I could have fit into a small medium just because I wanted the extra room. And when you wash them, they tend to shrink. You never dry your tights, but I, the other thing I would do is I would cut the elastic band because I would hate the line that it would give you. Like it would cut into your stomach and I hated the line. So I would cut my elastic bands and then I would always get the convertible ones. And I was notorious for not wearing my tights and my shoes. I know I was bad. Um, but I would pull the convertible bottoms and I would stretch them a little bit and break like the the really tough seam that was on their bottom to keep them from fraying um, just for, to be more comfortable when I like rolled them up to my ankles. So Capizio tights, pink. I have about a bajillion pairs of these. And then I would also, <laughs> also, I would also get the black ones. So these are large, extra large, but I would get the stirrup tights which mean that they would go over my ballet shoe. So there's a hole in the heel and then your toes would stick out right there. So two pairs of tights, always had them. Um, okay, now we're getting into nitty gritty stuff. So these were my point shoes that I wore when I was taking point in college. Um, I grew up being trained in classical ballet. And when I got to college, I decided to use my socks instead of using toe pads. So I would cut like the toe part off of my sock. And if I can get my foot up here, it fits really nicely on your foot. So it just covers you up that much. And then um, it was a little bit thinner than a toe pad and I could feel the shoe, like my box better. These ones are seemingly dead. Um, my brand is Fousey. It is a Chinese point shoe brand. And um, I would always mark them. This is my left, it has an L on the bottom. And then I have a seemingly high arch. So I would three quarter shank my shoes. So my shank I'd cut right about here to fit on my arch and I would pull it out of there and then I would cover it with duct tape so if it didn't like rub on the bottom of my foot. But those are my point shoes. I'm gonna do a whole nother series on my point shoes and what I used, how I prepared them, how I sewed them. Um, but those are my dead ones. And then I always had a pair of new ones and they're so much prettier when they're new they're undamaged they're not broken in and i only have the elastic sewn on so i sew my elastics on the outside of my shoe um that's not very pretty stitching but it gets the job done and it doesn't like rub on my heel so it doesn't hurt as bad but those are my point shoes and we'll do a whole series on my point shoes later how to prepare them how to find the right shoe all that fun stuff these are my ballet shoes they're blocks. I don't have pretty ones right at the moment, but I like the flesh colored shoes, excuse me, especially for teaching. I preferred the flesh color shoes, but for now we have the pink. Um, and then I always had a brush, you know, to do your hair. I would do my hair in many different ways, French twist, high bun, low bun. Um, and then I would do something called a cinnamon roll bun where I would take like different pieces and twist them into a really pretty design. Um, I will also do a series on hairstyles. These are one of my favorite investments that I ever made. These are called Rubaware Leg Warmers. They are handmade by a company called Rubaware and I got the full leg ones, which means that it goes from my ankle all the way up mid thigh. So I got the gray because gray goes with everything, but I highly recommend investing into some leg warmers. Rubaware is the company to go to. I will link them in the description box for you, but those are my leg warmers. I would also get a lot of skirts that I would use over the years. I actually don't have any of my bullet point skirts. I lent them to a student of mine. Um, she trained with me over the summer at Blue Lake Fine Arts Camp. So she has all my bullet point skirts, but these are some like generic wrap skirts that I would wear. So I have a white one. And then my really good friend from college, Jillian Kreckel, um, made this for me. Um, it is a spider web wannabe bullet point skirt. She sewed it for a group of us and it's really cool. It has like metallic spider webs on it. So we all wore those 
for October and for Halloween. And then my mom actually made this one, which is like blue, sparkly, shimmery. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it does have a little bit of shimmer to it and it's a little bit longer. So it came down to cover a little bit more of my thigh, which was really nice. So I would have an assortment of skirts. And now we're getting to the nitty gritty stuff. When you dance as much as you do, um, it's good to have some kind of an icy hot. This is Cairo Freeze. It is a CBD um, kind of a roll-on that I would use on my Achilles tendon. I would use it on my back if it was hurting my neck, any kind of like pain that I had on my knee. Uh, this was my best friend. So highly recommend, super, super nice. Tylenol, generic, pills, you know, that's what you, you, you do what you do to get through the pain at that point. Um, this is the deodorant that I use. It is Old Spice Deep Sea. It is a man's deodorant and it is aluminum free to prevent cancer. I like the, the gel, it goes on a little bit better and it stays longer. And I also like the smell of guys deodorant. It just smells better and it lasts longer than women's in my opinion. So that's my deodorant. Self-explanatory, I'd roll out my muscles with the tennis ball. Um, always had a few of those in my bag. And then I always had um, a thing full of bobby pins and hair ties to put my hair up or to change any kind of uh, thing that I need to do with my hair. So there's that. You can never be too prepared. It's what I've learned over the years. All right, we're getting to the end, here we go. So pouch number one, this is all like my foot stuff. The only thing that I don't have anymore is my toe tape. And I used to use the padded like foam toe tape to wrap my big toe and my little toe in to prevent blisters. The other thing that saved me were blister band-aids from the Band-Aid brand. Those are amazing. I don't have any with me. Um, the other thing that saved me was this new skin. And it does say liquid band-aid on it. So I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. And it smells horrendous, but you open it up, you paint it on and it covers your wound like a band-aid and it just like, it doesn't like come off. So highly recommend new skin. I have clear nail polish. Um, this is like a, a dancer point shoe, everything hack. If you have a run in your tights and you put clear nail polish on it, it stops the run. So I always keep a thing of clear nail polish with me. So I always have my, my OPI nail lacquer. Um, and then of course, this is Tiger Balm. I used to put this on my toes all the time, especially when I had um, long rehearsals. It's a, it's kind of like an icy hot, but it's more concentrated. This one's like half gone. Um, but when I was dealing with Achilles tendonitis and my left Achilles tendon, I, this bad boy would get me through performances, rehearsals, classes, everything. So that is pouch number one. And then pa the last but not least, pouch number two. So flexors. I always kept an extra thing of point shoe ribbons just in case one broke. So if there's that, um, I always had some kind of like wrap for my knee or for my ankle or for even anyone else that would end up like having something um, act up during class, like an ace bandage wrap. Um, I live by this, my stitch kit. I use different thread to initially sew my point shoes, but if something happens in class and I have to quick do a repair, this saves my life. And then last but not least, I have Arnica gel, which is another kind of like icy hot. It doesn't smell quite as strong. Um, so for my friends that, you know, the smell of icy hot would bother them. Um, I always had an alternative just in case one of them was allergic to it or they didn't like the smell. So I could switch between the two of them. But that is a quick haul of what I kept inside my dance bag. I hope it was helpful. Um, the coming videos will be a little bit more educational, motivational in terms of, we're gonna do a lot about nutrition. We're gonna do a lot about, you know, artistry, taking classes. You know, how are you, how can you work on your artistry even in ballet class? Um, I'll do a whole Nutcracker series. Um, I'll take you behind the scenes of FIM's Nutcracker and then to the rehearsals and a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'll do an office tour and then we'll start getting into like audition season, summer intensives, college dance programs, professional training divisions. Um, I'm getting a lot of requests for that kind of content. So there is more to come, but I wanted just at the beginning of the year, I thought the dance bag haul would be very helpful. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you guys next week. I hope you have a good night.